This series, Talking Point, is about rider awareness and safety. Bring up whatever questions you have or comments you have on the open forum so that I can answer them and everyone has access to learning. We are taught to push our horses through a situation when we're riding that the horse is not comfortable with. Anytime your horse hesitates, they are telling you, showing you that they've hit a threshold. They're not sure. A threshold is a horse not being sure. But eventually you're going to keep pushing that horse and the horse is going to revert, regress and choose one of its three or all three of its self-preservation modes. We think that they are quiet and calm, but actually when they s slow down in their walking and they stop and they just check out, they're going into the freeze mode. And that's only going to last for so long before they wake up or you push them so hard that they go into fight mode, which is bucking or bolting or rearing. So trying to bring your awareness to the threshold is what I'm talking about. When you see or feel your horse tighten up underneath of you, slow down, hesitate, stop, refuse, and their head's way up here, and their neck's tight, their back is tight, they've got a problem. So we can go on the buckle with my hand resting on our wither and a loose rein on our trail ride most of it but the minute my mare gets tight I listen to her because she's sensing something that she f feels as a threat and she is very protective anytime you're riding and you're behind your horse's withers your horse is leading you when you're riding so at that point I'm like I'll lead baby girl and then I'll get back on when I can see visibly and feel I can see her getting more relaxed and I can, I can feel that energy shift. So take your time and listen and feel your horse underneath of you and don't push them. And one of the most obvious signs that they're ready to go forward because you've given them that reassurance and they know that you're there with them is when your horse goes from this alert position and they relax and they look at you. But if your horse is still here and you keep thinking you're ready to go forward, good luck, be careful. I always wait, even with horses that don't know this method that we teach, I always wait and say, okay, it's okay. It's okay, I'm here with you. So that brings me to the next conversation. What about your thresholds? Are you confident enough rider that when your horse gets worked up and you can feel their heart pounding and you can feel the tension underneath of you and the stress, and maybe you've had an accident before, can you show up the way your horse needs you to be right then and there? Which means as a leader, you have to present a level of safety to your horse, which means you've got to be calm and grounded. You can't feed off your horse. My recommendation all the time is get off your horse. I, the best I can tell you is learn from that, that you guys have got to understand what's causing your horse to come unglued and hit those big thresholds. There's a time to push and strongly push, and it always works. So you just have to know when to push. And I said a key word here. I know that I can always go back to the building blocks and do better, do better. 75%, at least 75% can be fixed by going back to the arena work. And if I go back to the arena and the horse was excellent, then can I take that walk, trot, and canter out into an open field? That's how we train for the trail. We go out in a field with other horses. Stimuli, if your horse isn't prepared for stimuli, sense overload, sensory overload, and I'm not talking about desensitizing at all, I'm just talking about normal overload. The leaves blowing, the way the, the sunlight comes through can drive them nuts. What they hear, and then they're on sensory process, sorry, overload. If they're not used to listening to you with they're never going to be safe on the trail. So you've got to slowly produce that sensory overload. And a lot of people say, well, I don't have a pasture. I board my horse. I'm not allowed to do that. Then hand walk your horse out on the trail. We're not talking about desensitizing, which gets confused here. We're talking about helping your horse who's already on overload with their sensory aware and sensory processing, helping them stay connected to you. I teach all of this on my online course, the Lifetime Membership. 
from start to finish. We go through all of this. It's a lifetime subscription and it's huge. Hundreds of videos, step by step. We talk about all of this stuff to help you guys in every situation from start to finish. A finished horse is a horse that can collect itself at the canter, have smooth and fluid transitions in all the gates. You can ride it bareback and without a bit and it listens to your seat and it's connected to you and it's really safe and connected on the trail. So that wraps up the rider awareness and safety um, topic and video series here. Thank you so much and may you always be one with your horse.